Gordon McPhail is doing some change of their distribution in America and so K&L have these bottles on sale that we ordered when they sent out the email and so today we're going to pick them up whiskey can wait we've got some, <laughs> we've got some pizza to eat It's a bit citrus and um, a bit vegetal. And uh, what else is it? Lots of new construction everywhere here. Economy. Yeah, but it was like this last time, just before the crash apartments and buildings going up everywhere and then there's always something that's left unfinished. It's always surprising coming from the UK to see a new to see big apartment buildings like these all timber framed but you know when you have an earthquake you want things to shake <laughs> and not fall down so no brick buildings around here. Arriving at KNL. I saw a Game of Thrones Kleinlish sell on Scotch whiskey auctions for £270 this morning. It doesn't make any sense at all. We do, we do have the campfire. We, we have campfire in the, in the blind tasting. A few. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. We had a Colonel Taylor. We just put one of those in. Mm. I was thinking about picking this one up. Well, Old Forester 1920 has a good reputation, and this is one that's a single barrel bottled for KL. And it's not expensive. $40. What is it? So that could be one. Let's see what else is down here. So here's the. This is the 1920 that people people recommend. Eagle Rare is supposed to be good. Another Old Forester. Well, this one or this one, I'm not sure. Okay, what else is up here? Hmm. Ah. I think we've made it into into Ireland. No. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> Ooh. But look. Come back to the American ones in a minute. Scottish. Ah, yeah, so here's some Kilcomans. This one's bottled for KL. It's a single cask. I'm not sure how old it is. I think it's. Oh, it's a 10 year. Quite expensive, though. We do have others. Mm. I thought Deepa might want this one. Heavily peated and Isla Barley. When she sees it, she's going to want it. Tell me why you want it. Because I have peat very much. And I have barley as well. <laughs> no, but you like it because it's local, don't you? Isla no. Barley? Yes. But I'm brief, uh, um, lock, common. Lock, gone. It's also every beat. Uh, so. That's true. I don't see it but here, but. 
so if you take choice, I have to go for that one. Just to show out, so I keep people in the room. Okay, no extras then. We pick up the bottles that we came to pick up, and we'll keep this empty for now. <laughs> My bottles are coming from the back. Sorry, our bottles are coming from the back. Three of these. Yeah, two of one, one of another. Uh, one's a two of Belle Blair and one's a. Them. Oops. Have a good one. Hope you enjoy. Thanks a lot. Warm dry. Maybe we should go to Costco while we're here. <laughs> the Not a bad price for uh, McAllen. <laughs> All right. Nothing today. Say goodbye to the whiskies. Costco gets more interesting around Christmas time, where they have the special bottles in. But uh, I have seen Booker's and Blanton's in there in the past, when I didn't really know, well I still don't know, but I would have bought them if I'd known. So we'll just keep waiting, see if they show up again. <laughs> just to check. <laughs> Deepa didn't have enough pizza. <laughs> Turn right on 10th Street. It's a giant warehouse. A giant warehouse of alcohol. A quick check in the glass cabinets. Okay, which one do you want? Shall we have McAllen number six today? Your favorite. <laughs> uh, <laughs> seems to be a giraffe. I haven't really associated Glen Morangy oh, yeah. with a with a giraffe before, but maybe that's something we should have known. Okay, there's this one. I thought it was sold out, but there's one left. I think we take this one. Of course. Checking. That, <laughs> that Mortlock's never gonna sell, is it? The eight hundred dollar Mortlock. Oh, uh -huh. I think we came too late for that one. Any round the back? Any in here? Any down the side? Hello? Arrow proof, where are you? Well, we missed it, but you see, they do have good stuff. It does come up. Okay, home. Mm, um, do you have a blind date? <laughs> a, a blind date? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we were quite well behaved today. We only bought one extra bottle. <laughs> 
well technically we bought the other four last week today we were just picking up what we did by the 1920 that was extra mm. but, but that was that's right <laughs> oh, I'm only going to be ski. let's just quickly summarize what we got so the last thing we picked up was Old Forester, 1920, Prohibition style. We've been feeling a bit guilty of our uh, lack of American representation. 57.5% alcohol by volume. What's happened to the lid of... So these are the clear out ones from K&L. This is Le Jig 18, 46%. And it cost $87 with taxes. This is the Bow Blair, Gordon McPhail again. And this is part of this uh, clearing out the distribution channels. Bit my tongue. After changing their plan. So this is 21 year Bal Blair, 43%. At a cost of $110 before taxes. So $120, $120, something like that. Very similar. But this time it is the Pulteney. 21 year Pulteney. So a very 43% uh, again. I'm very interested to see how that compares with uh, the official old Pulteney from Pulteney. And <laughs> it really was Deeper who made me buy a backup of the Bal Blair. So there it is. There's the lid. <laughs>